Welcome, Guardians, to the top five things you probably didn't know about Destiny, the Taken King expansion coming out. Welcome, I am Zylo. I'll be your host today. This is a brand new channel called Nerd Out. I just changed my URL. You, some of you guys may know me from COD, but overall, I'm switching over to Destiny, so let's get right into this. So, the very first thing you guys probably didn't know about Destiny is talking about the exotics from year one, such as the Galahorn, the Last Word, stuff that isn't moving over to year two or as we thought. Now, this is an article that was released for PlayStation only. As you can tell, it talks about how different exotics from year one are going to be moving over to year two and possibly year three. We're not sure. Some of them are coming on right away, as you know, like the Soros Regime and the Light Beyond Nemesis. Those are two exotics that are being released right away. But moving on to the next thing you probably didn't know, at the number two spot, we're going to go down from number one down to number five. Number two is the raid. Now, we're used to having the normal raid and the hard raid. Now, that's only two game modes. What has been released, as you can tell by the same guy who posted that, talking about how the raid is going to be the best one, yet also talked about how that there's also going to be more than two game modes. It's going to be more than just normal and more than just hard. So, it expect three plus game modes for this raid so this is going to be really interesting it's going to be the best thing for the raids that we've seen yet so look forward to that it's going to be awesome so our next subject next thing you probably didn't know is talking about the court of oryx now this is a lot the way i think about it is kind of like prison of elders but a lot shorter it's a player instigated public event that you have to sacrifice runes to activate now this one person can sacrifice the runes and he'll also get better rewards from a chest that you'll get once you complete now there are different bosses that you're going to fight such as two hive boomers that are one's going to be using a sword one's going to be using the normal rocket and the only way to bring down their shields is to get them close together so if you guys want to beat them you're going to bring them close together bringing in these different mechanics to the game that we haven't normally seen which is going to be really really awesome there's also one where it's a giant ogre that can only be hurt by cursed thrall explosions so these are just really cool getting away from those normal sponges that we're used to seeing the fourth thing is that all sparrows are now getting a boost. Now, as you guys know, as the Time Breaker, as well as the Grave Robber from Crota's End, they both are the only sparrows that we have right now that are getting boosts. And uh, if you look at this, this is a gameplay from more console that I saw, and a lot of people didn't notice that actually said boost. And this is just a regular legendary sparrow. So that means that all sparrows are now going to have that boost, which is going to be really nice. We're not just going to have to use the Time Breaker or that Grave Robber just to move faster than everything else. So it's going to be really cool to have this boost onto all of our sparrows and a lot of people didn't know. So finally, the last thing that a lot of people haven't really paid attention to is the swords. And I know a lot of you have noticed the swords, but you have not noticed that we can actually block incoming shots, melees, everything like that with the sword. Now I have some gameplay of this actually being used by Fruit. He actually walks up and is blocking blasts. I'm not exactly sure how the ammo works. I do know that it's just regular purple ammo, but whether or not it's just an energy source or any sort of other type of ammo, I'm not exactly sure about how it's being used, how blocking and stuff like that affects the amount of ammo being used. All right, guys, those are all the facts I had. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. If I end up breaking a thousand subscribers before the Taken King actually comes out, I'll be giving one of you guys lucky subscribers the Taken King free of charge. You won't even have to pay for it. Only if I break a thousand subscribers before the Taken King. So you guys have about 18 days left. I'll be uploading every day for Taken King content, stuff you didn't know, stuff, cool stuff. My friend Lights, the other person running the channel. So we're going to be launching this channel. So hopefully we'll break that a thousand subscriber monument. We'll be able to break that and one of you guys can get the Taken King free of charge. Anyways, guys, this has been Zylo on Nerd Out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm out of here. Peace.